Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, in this episode, we're going to do some different things and changing things up a little bit. I'm going to introduce to you the man that's been helping me with the video and putting these stories together. He's going to show us a little bit more of what we do in the plot and put the story together. <laughs> Thomas. Hey, Tristan. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Good. What well, hey, everybody. I'm real happy to be helping you out here. I've been helping Tristan in this project since we started it uh, when we were doing the Shadow Box Theater, and now we're doing the Marionette Theater. But I want to take a moment to talk to you about plot and storyline. So, right. now if you remember in Series 1, Tristan drew out an entire storyboard for what our story was going to be. And we want to do that again this time, but this time we're going to do it in a different way. Here's how we're going to do it. I have here a sheet of paper. I'm going to cut these sheets of paper into four pieces each, just in half. And with a marker, I'm going to develop the plot. Now, we develop the plot because we know which characters we already have. We have all of our puppets, but how do we put them into a storyline? Well, a storyline has rising and falling action. That means things need to get more exciting before they get less exciting. Also, as we build up the storyline and make it more exciting, we do have to take a little dip sometimes to have the, give the audience a chance to relax, to take a breath before things get even more exciting. So you know how I came up with the story for this one, Tristan? That was our house. I knew we had the tree goblin puppet. And my question was, what could the tree goblin do? I just picked up a puppet and started thinking about it. And I Googled the phrase tree goblin. And I saw the first thing that came up was there's an old tale, a, a fairy tale, mm. that if you fall asleep under a tree, a tree goblin could get you. And so that became the story. It is real. So that was the idea. So the thing was that we were going to take Theodore and he's going to fall asleep under the tree and the tree goblin's going to get him. So we worked everything out to try and be exciting and I'm going to tell you what's going to happen right now. Now as we do each one, as we uh, draw out each thing, we're going to draw it out and then it's going to get put up on the board. So the first thing is Theodore has to fall asleep under the tree. All right. And then obviously if foot theater falls asleep under a tree, what happens? Goblin. Comes. Goblin comes and get it. Right. The goblin's going to come and get him. So the number two is the goblin comes and gets Theodore. So then next is the goblin is going to take Theodore deeper in the woods. That is when we're going to plan and we take him deeper in the woods by bringing in our wagons with more trees. All right. And then we have our snake puppet. And so we decided that the tree goblin is going to leave the snake to guard Theodore and then he is going to leave. All right. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, we can't leave Theodore under the tree that we have to introduce something else. So a bi the big purple bird is going to come and pick up Theodore, right like that, all right? And then what should happen? I'll tell you what should happen. The purple bird should take Theodore to Prince Trepius, to Trepius, our first puppet that we made. So that was the idea. And then we were trying to think of what they would do, and it's because Trepius wants Theodore to teach him how to build a fire. So he's gonna build the campfire and the two of them are gonna talk. And then it's cold. the big perp, once he's done that, the big purple bird is gonna come and get Theodore. And there we go, that's, that's good, that's enough, I think. And then he's gonna take him home and then the trees are gonna grow. Uh, because we want, we think that Trepius will give as a reward to Theodore, he's going to teach him how to grow trees. Awesome. Now that's not too bad, but it's missing something. It needs, falls asleep in the tree, gets picked up, taken deeper in the forest, and then he's guarded by the snake and the bird comes and gets him. 
and takes them to Triopus and shows that. And that's great, but we still have our puppets and our characters. Something needs, there needs to be more danger in it. <laughs> I think, and so I think what needs to happen is something needs to happen in here. Between the part where he teaches Trepas to make fire and the purple bird uh, comes back to take Theodore home, something needs to happen. Mm. Ah, I have an idea. Let me do two more cards. Here's my next two cards. I have an idea. So here's what we're going to do. This time, we're going to move these out of here. That doesn't happen yet. But after... Theodore teaches Trepas to make fire. The goblin and the snake are going to come back. And they're going to demand that Trepas turn over Theodore back over to the goblin and the snake. But then uh, Trepas is going to show them how Theodore made fire. And then that is going to make the tree goblin and the snake agree to let him go. So we're going to put that there. And then... Uh, let's see. And then the purple bird will come back and get him, take him home, and then he makes the trees grow, our tree growing effect at the end, right? Yay! So that's our plot. That's our story. But now, as a director, because I've been directing the videos and helping things along, it's my job as a director to help figure out how we're going to do the changes. Now, we already know that when they get deep in the woods, that means the wagons come in with our other trees, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Then uh, we know the snake. We already made marks. The snake's going to come in from this direction. The tree goblin's going to move. That's what all the arrows are is the direction they're coming in. That's part of, that's part of doing it. Directing is what direction do they come in from the stage. Our hard part is how do we get from scene to scene? So if the curtain, the main curtain comes up and then Theodore goes to sleep under, Theodore comes in, goes to sleep under the tree. The tree goblin comes in and they go deeper in the forest. Should we close the curtain and change the set? Or with the two puppets on there walking, should we wheel in the wagons? Should we bring in the other set pieces? Then we don't have to close the curtain. So there's no pause in the action. So that's what we'll do. And then they'll be deeper in the forest. The <laughs> snake will come in uh, and the tree goblin will leave. But then the big purple bird comes in and takes Theodore out. Now, once that happens, we have to make a change to our set to show we're in a different place when the purple bird brings Theodore to Triopus. So we'll have to close the curtain. So this end will actually be the end of this scene or this act. We'll close the curtain. We'll change the set. And then maybe Triopus will be on there when the curtain goes up. Yeah. We'll have to see. We'll yeah. explore. And That's then the right. purple bird brings, brings him in. And then the fire will just come in. But then the tree goblin and the snake will arrive with the fire still on there. But then when the purple bird comes to take Theodore, this time everybody is going to leave. And then with the purple bird and Theodore in the center of the stage, we're going to slide all the wagons and all the extra set pieces off to show that we've changed location to take it back to the beginning. And then we'll make the trees rise and then the curtain will close again. As the director, I'm going to make a note right now. The note says curtain up. We put that one at the beginning. We're going to do curtain down right here at the end of this part. And then we do curtain up right at the beginning of this line. And then we know that after we're done with the show, that the curtain will come down. We'll write it down that the curtain goes down again. Because if it's not there. Because if it's not there, right. What if somebody forgets? Yes. You could have somebody helping you. And then who knows? And it's Orville. Orville is the grip. A grip is somebody who moves stage pieces in and out and helps move things around. Orville's kind of forgetful. Yeah, yes. So 
we'll probably have to put that up there just for him. And that is how directing works, and that's how writing a story works. Does he think that's helpful, Tristan? I think it's very helpful, especially for me, when I'm starting to move, everybody's on the same page mm -hmm. of what needs to be done. Which, right. Which is great. Excellent. Are you ready to do a show? I am. Are you guys ready to see a show? I'm going to go get Orville. He's in the back. I don't know. 
Thank you all for joining us for this season. This uh, completes all the episodes of putting together this type of theater. I hope you guys had fun with it and getting creative with different things that you have. Feel free to make it bigger, expand on it. Or if, you re if you're reading some fairy tales or different kind of short stories, uh, that sort of thing, just um, break it down and create a visual visual storytelling it's a great time for it in the house to friends family uh, all that so keep the storytelling going and we'll see you next time it is real mm. absolutely real don't fall asleep under trees especially in forests you don't know